I return! I am here! I was gonna say I'm home. I'm home! I'm home, are you proud of me? I like the new change with um, night vision. How instead of it turning green, it just makes it so that it's gray instead of black. That's cool. So I have a big copper patch here. If I'm going to have copper, I need it to be moved up here over time. Alright. Now, I'm curious. I heard with one of the updates they changed the science on us again. Where... Is sulfur blue science? It's not batteries anymore. It's circuits, isn't it? It's always circuits. I love how Bio Industries has two different layers, or two different levels of train and rail. Or just rail. What would warrant a upgrade in technology? There we go. Science packs now take mining drills. Cool. We now have mining drills, electric mining drills, as part of Science Pack 3. That's fine. And then... Is it the big circuit? Maybe. That one. Batteries, processing speed... No, 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 that's high tech. I'm, I'm skipping a step. I'm looking for... Uh, No, or maybe that is it. Production. Production. What's our production upgrader? Um... What unlocks production? There it is. Now it's an assembly machine in production. Ah, they flipped those with the with the last update. They just swapped those on us. It used to be that the assembly machine was on the other one, and then this one had a pump jack, and now it doesn't have a pump jack. Instead, it has an assembly machine, which isn't bad. It's not hard. It just means everyone that's currently already got their base established is going to log on today and their uh, system's not going to work. They're going to be like, what's going on? It's not building. 3,000 trees. Lovely. Oh, um, I'm still working on just red. Let's do architecture. Because that'll unlock my Fectorissimo 2. Good golly, so many. Although, it makes me wonder, if I upgrade capacity, would they be able to handle that? That's the real question. I might have done a bad yesterday and bought Wildlands and then stayed up till 3 playing it. It's a good game. It's fun. I'm like level... 10 or 11. I got it yesterday and I'm level 11. I'm like, yeah. I literally almost completely beat the first area and then ran to the second area and they're like, grab this guy and interrogate him. I grab him and I interrogate him and he goes, and they say, great, what type of information do you want from him? And the information, one of the options was the location and more skill points that let you level up your abilities and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I picked that one, immediately ran around and got all of them, and then, ow. Just 
looking for my uh, my clippers, but I don't know where they're at. I have a I have a hangnail in it. It really hurts. I bumped it this morning and I was like, ow! <laughs> I was like, who put that there? So I'm just cramming out trees as fast as I can. I got my little tree. Oh. I want trees on there. That one's on there. That one's useful. I want that one on there. And then I'm going to go trees. See, because the problem is this wide open area just lets the pollution out, and it sucks. And so by creating this massive wall of trees, I'm creating an artificial forest, which will then help protect the base from the pollution. See, like, all this pollution that's just pouring out on this side? This tree forest is going to help um, contain that. What it's making me think what I should probably do is spend an afternoon finding all of my favorite songs, like regular songs, and uh, create a playlist of those ones as well to listen to. Because there's a lot of music I would really like to listen to on stream. Alright, um, fluid handling, eh, light interior, absolutely, let's do that one. shift over six inches and it jumps up like 200 I'm like whoa 500 what the crap hmm. ooh if you look right here it's like ooh, in the pollution now I'm gonna have to thicken it over across that edge right there. I can already tell it's not thick enough. But this is still, it's, it's better than not, by far. It's by far better than not. Oh, and then I need to, um, map. I need to work on science too. Green science. Because I don't think I currently have it at all. No, I don't. Build more farms. Okay. So this is green. Right there. Except for I went backwards. Gosh dang it. <laughs> My bad. Oh, and I need wood. Um... Try that again. And then I need a couple on this side. There. Okay. 
So now we have green science ready to go. But it needs... Right. I need copper and I need... Because mm. here's what I'm looking at. What I really need is... What if we did one, two, three... Because here's what I'm looking at. I need to be creating circuits. These guys. No, 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 no. Um, you guys are like that. Need a crap load of blue. So now we've got... Like that. Sweet. So we need arm in. Arm out. Um, can I fit a building right in the middle? Here's the part that I don't like. So what I have to do here is this one here is going to be building this one, but I also need it to be fed gears. So I got the iron in, I've got circuits feeding in, I've got gears that need to go in. The problem is I don't want to go with just two there and then one red here. I don't want to do that. I don't think it'll be quite as efficient as I want, but we'll, we'll find out here in a sec. Where's my... Alright, let's yank some trees. I require wood. Thank you. Let's get some wood going. So then from here, we're going... Out. But then we're also going to grab two... There. Because we're going to do gears there. And then belts there. Two gears in, one belt in, one across, one out, onto the belt. But we're gonna then tip it immediately. Like that. So we're gonna end up having one out. Where's my where's my there we go. So we got power there, we have power there, power there, power there. So in theory, now that is everything we need for our science. Because this is all the these are the bits, these are the little bits that are gonna get sent down here to blue. Or to green science. Yeah, so we'll go like that. One over, one there, lovely. Ah! <laughs> I'm like, I'm doing really good and then I ran out of belts. All right, so the belts are gonna go like that. See, 
See, because it's waiting on gears. That's the thing I don't like. And the gears are ready. This was the this part that I don't like. Because with this... See, because it works, but if you look, the belt side is getting really, really full, and then the inserter side is not, and it's because the belts are being produced at almost twice the rate of the circuit, uh, or the, of the arm, which is dumb because this is more than capable of handling that. That was the whole, I was thinking of doing something like, with my red, way too long. I hate that song. Not my favorite. There we go. I'm like, I'm like, it stopped. What happened? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go, we're gonna rip that out. And then we're gonna put it over one. Because I want it to be close enough. Otherwise it slows it down and I don't have time for it to be slowed down. So we'll go two there, one there. And honestly, I'm going to do... It looks like it's still... It's because now it's now it's waiting on circuits, which is which it should be, because that's the part I'm fixing. See, because now I can just go, okay, we'll do an underground there, and then we'll do a blue into there. And we'll just go, like, give it its own piece there. Now that this is a nasty mess of power lines. Alright, that looks good. That looks much better. I might still need to set up a second one, though. I mean, this fits. It's a great spot for it, and it fits nicely. It's just this big, and it's there. But I could technically set it up to throw a second one down. But to be fair, though, when I'm not doing science, this is going to fill up all the way with green. It'll fill this up completely with green. It'll backstock itself to here. And that'll work, and that'll be fine. And then it will... Once it's backed itself up with green like that, then it'll back up all the way to here. Mm, and I'll have this many stocked. Pardon me. Stocked. Yeah. Yeah. It's not necessarily how I want to do it. Technology. Can I do a bigger... Distribution. Let's do distribution then. Okay, distribution will be good. I need, um... Let's do a research queue. And let's go for... Coal processing is important to me. Logistics 2 is important. Batteries are important, but not in that order. Um, yeah, Architecture 2 is important for me right now. And then probably that. That puts us at, what, 30... 34 minutes? Okay. Based on my current output, it'll take me half an hour to get that many resources. Researches. Resources. Research is done. So in the meantime, what I need to do is continue building turrets and getting my walls secured.
Whoops, I say I wanted four, not five. Like most games, a single turret is a dead turret. Anyone who plays real-time strategies will know, a single turret is a dead turret. And you don't got time for that. Okay, I'm just about wrapped around. I'm covered to the water and then around to here. I just need to finish this gap here and then this side. I'm probably going to go to the wall here and then up and then smack dab into the water again. Probably. Let's go grab a bunch of... Ah! Right. And so I've got I've got the, uh, the thing set up. It'll keep cranking it out for me. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rip this down and, um, I don't have enough room yet for that. I'll just fill that real fast. That'll clear up my inventory, because then what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna say, hey, you guys, how about you rip up all of that? And how about you rip up all of that? And the reason being is I want to give it a thicker forest. The thicker the forest is, the more pollution I will um, be protecting from. I have a lot of stone on me still. I'm trying to figure that one out. Ooh, look at those giant patches of resources. Got two big patches there. I have a lot of resources around me. Sweet. Inventory full. Oh no. There. Now you guys will leave me alone about my inventory being full. They're like, oh my gosh, can't do this, your inventory's full. Meh. A nice thick forest. But... It's a nice thick forest, but it's a lie. Because for some reason, this terrain does not fill in the trees that tight. You used to be able to see it really well on the mini-map, but... No, you can kind of see it. I'll have to wait for this to finish uh, deploying, and then I can show you it. Because essentially what it is is... Piss off! What's up, man? What's up? Yo, redneck. Oddly enough, I've never considered myself a redneck. I've never considered myself one. Specifically because I know rednecks. And I'm not one of them. <laughs> I don't drive a pickup truck. I don't have a gun rack strapped to the back of it. My car is not covered in dust and dirt from going mudding. I don't enjoy camping and fishing. I'm, I'm not a redneck. I'm really not. Hang on, I need to get off of that. Okay, so if you check the map... If you look at this chunk of trees right here, you can see a ton of little dots where... So the, the trees are the green dots, and then the, um, all the little, like, grayish, grayish, brownish dots are where there's not trees. And for some reason, certain biomes, when you plant trees, and depending on the biome, it doesn't actually plant it all the way. So, like, if I grab this, notice I've got 200, I had 200, I'm down to 189, and all I'm doing is filling in the cracks. And you can tell when it is full because it turns into this very uniform, streamlined, really good looking set of trees. But look, I had 200, now I'm down to 87, just filling in the holes from where it didn't grow. I'm taking a hostage, you will comply with my instructions if you don't want this family to get shot. Um... 
trying to decide how hostile I feel. Oh, see, see, look, this, this is what it's, this is what it's supposed to look like. When it's full, when you plant trees and it's full, it looks like this. When you plant trees and it's not full, it looks like this. It's a very distinct difference. I was trying to decide if I was going to say something to the effect of I don't negotiate with terrorists, but then I've worked with children before, so, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to plead the fifth and say, eh. That's what I'm going to say. Well, actually, it depends on what the demands are. Because depending on what the demands are, I might just be like, me. Like if it's, uh, pat your tummy, pat your Ted, uh, pat your Ted, pat your tummy, pat your, pat your tummy, pat your Ted. Hey, Ted. Ugh. Only six million trees to go. Sorry, bots. I gotta go grab more trees for you guys. Um, trees. Players' inventory is full. For build more farms. <laughs> I don't negotiate with terrorists, but I've worked with children before. <laughs> oh man. It's true. Kids are like little demons, you know? I'm like, have you ever met a child? They're horrible! Most of them are. Eh. Eh. I don't know. Enough of them are for me to have that opinion, you know? Ten, nine. How's the pollution look? See, look, there's like no pollution across the bottom now. We've got a healthy forest chunk across the bottom, which means right there definitely needs some. And then I need to uh, finish on that side. Sweet, so that's full. Gonna let that do its thing. I had a crap load of trees allotted, but not planted over here. Yeah, right here. <laughs> Hello, robots. <laughs> the strings behind me like, wait for me! I'm like, all right, all right, all right. No, actually, that's not even me. I was totally like, I was totally like, go around! I'm like, I've got my own, I've got my own places to be, man, and, and you're taking too long. So I'm thinking... They're after me too, but it ain't for an invention. <laughs> that is Red Skelton. He's a very funny comedian. From the... 40s. Don't believe, fine. The child death will be on your head. Bang! Oh no. Hey, you're the one that pulled the trigger. Technically, it's not on me at all. See, that's my problem with uh, ill-fitted demands like that. Because they're like, alright, it's on your conscience. No, technically it's on your conscience. Because I didn't shoot no kid. You did. You know? Just saying. It's like, eh, I don't... Oh, that's why I'm not... There we go. I was like, why the crap am I not building anything on, on, uh, on time here? Okay. Yank those up. And we're going to replant for here um can I sneak one more I can for 1k ah sure why not that side I can't you failed to comply now do I have your attention <laughs> piss off you always had my attention man. you always did I don't, I don't want you to feel like I'm neglecting you. Although my favorite is still when they're like, Dad, pay attention to me! And I'm like, no. Um... Except for I'm just going to make them red immediately, because there's no point in building any that are not red. Like,
like that. Because what I want to do is I want to go, hey... Oh no. Let's try that. Ow! I had an eyeball once. Ah! I'm one-eyed. I'm a one-eyed pirate. I'm a pirate. Hey, there we go. We got power. Take it, Gronk. Feel the power. Oh. I can feel it. Shoot. There we go. My power's fluctuating. What? What? My power is fluctuating. Dang it. My power's like fluctuated. I'm gonna say it's dilated. No, that's the wrong word. Here, have some wood. Hey now. No need to be rude. Piss off. No need to be rude. You punk. Not that you've ever been civil. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Or are you just here for your daily dose of uh, timeout? You should be able to just right click on a name and like time them out instead of have to like type it. Because typing it's just, it's, it just takes too long. What on earth? Oh, there's a smear. <laughs> so I'm wearing my paint, my paint shirt. I figured I'd dress up today, so I'm wearing my uh, paint stain shirt. As you can see by the paint stain. Well, you're seven away from 4,100. Hang on. Time out. No, no, no. Not caps. Time out. Do I have to do an exclamation point? Time out. How do I do it again? I forgot. I forgot how to time out. Otherwise, I'd give you your timeout that you're requesting. Sorry, this is my favorite song. Ever since I saw, um, ever since I saw, uh, whatever the show is, this has been my favorite. Forward slash time out. There we go. Piss off has been timed out for 600 seconds. He'll be back. He'll be back. Instead of getting ticked at him, and <laughs> now he's hosting me. Yeah, he uh, he's he's a character. He is the truest definition of a troll that I can that I can think of. Truest definition, except for he's a I'd call him a classy troll. I would call piss off a classy troll. Because instead of just a troll that's just a, a straight up like jerk or a douche, he's actually like, you know. Pretty, uh, pretty legit about it though. All right, I gotta change this. We're gonna swap to solar because I gotta get some solar going. Because I'm not too keen on the thought of upgrading my um, steam. I don't want to add too much more steam if I don't have to. So.
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Yeah, that's as much as I can do on that streamline. Looking at our pollution. Our pollution is, oddly enough, the heaviest over just that. Just that. <sighs> so the reason why I hate steam in the first place is because it's so pollutant. Which kind of makes sense, but kind of doesn't. I mean, steam is not pollution, technically. Technically. But I don't know. Because steam is just water, water vapor, you know? You can't pollute air with water, because that's what water, that's what air is anyway. Air has water in it. That's why we get rain. Go figure. Something new. Oh, shoot. It's too big. Crap. Um, hmm. On the flip side, what I will do is I will continue to turret as I can. This life for something new to what I haven't got. I can't, I can't sing high without it cracking at least a little bit, which sucks because I love singing. Singing is my favorite. So what I'm probably gonna end up doing is, as soon as I get the level two, um. As soon as I get the level 2 Factorissimo buildings, I'm going to immediately grab all of my stuff like this. I'm like blueprint the whole thing and then just delete it all, put the one building down, and then drop it on top. Ooh, what I haven't. Ugh. My power levels are so pitiful right now. I need solar. In the meantime, what I can do is spend a ton of time collecting the resources required, i.e. circuits, and, um, oh, I don't have any copper. I'm going to need a lot of copper. I need a lot of copper, and then what I'll do is I'll actually set it up with, um, couple buildings like that and I'll set both of them to make solar panels and then I'll dump a crap load of resources into both and then run away and keep building other stuff you know what I mean I need turrets that's what I need which oddly enough is where all of my copper plates went because they all got soaked up by my gun turrets go figure Can I get a couple more radars? Like 10 more? Because I really want to keep a bunch of this live so I can see it from the map. So if like if I get hit and it's like you're getting hit, I'll be able to just like map over and see it. And I've got one there. Throw one more up in this corner. Dope! Like that. I now have that much live that I can see. So now I'm going to run way over to the right and then drop another one. How far can I see two? Just on the other side over here. Nice. See, it's really nice because when the enemies start to get close enough to your base to actually, like, threaten it. I'm going to interrupt it real quick since it gave me permission. Um, oh, I've already got advanced. Oh. Oh. 
In that case, I'll just let it finish. I was like, I really need... Oh, I'm already working. Never mind. Now, what I'm going to do here... Let's go like that. And then I'm going to go down. Like that. And then as close as I can. Like that. There. And then I require blue arms. Build more arms. I should really do that. I should set a full graphic for that. I think that'd be fun. Because when when someone follows me on Twitch, it uh, it does a quote from a it's the movie McClintock. It's a John Wayne, and uh, I could totally do the full like video clip, GIF or whatever of that for it. I could totally do that. That'd be fun. All right. Let's upgrade all you boys. And we need to upgrade you again. Oh, hang on. Build me a blue. Stop. I can wait. Um, from yellow to blue. Save changes. I require the upgrade builder. I like that they changed how early you can do that. Because it was really annoying. It's like, oh, you can't access that. You have to have uh, red circuits to do that. It's like, why? Because the planner acted like this had the same recipe as like the blue or the reds, but now that the blue and reds are free, they're like, ah, I don't make it, make it free. Okay, you make solar. Your friend will also make solar. Now I've got solar being made in two locations. Not one, but two. How far out was I building? Oh, because I was going to incorporate additional sciences. Time after time. I can't sing certain with certain artists. They're too high. I try, but I can't do it. Not very successfully, that's all I'm going to say. See, and this is part of the fun. Um, as my, as part of my plan, I have to tear up all the forest to build what I want to build, but in the process, that removes a massive pla uh, pollution blocker, which is thus why I need to be able to replant it. Oh, behind... Time after time. Sadly, this part takes forever. Oh, while I'm waiting, build more walls. Okay, so what I need is... I've got trees going there. I need to thicken the trees on that side. I need to finish planting that. And then I need my sciences to keep going. Oh, hey, I'm done. I'm like, get it. Get it all. Hey, Pasaf, you have returned, my friend. What's up, man? How did, uh, how did, uh, the timing out treat you? Treat you pretty good? Um, I thought I had... Um, uh, six more to go. Can you technically get those from one person, or does it have to be different people? How does that work? 
Like, could I slap you with another and would it count, or is that cheating? To just farm off of one streamer, you know? Not that I'm trying to feed your condition. I'd never do that. Never. Six away from 4,100 timeouts. Okay. Love them guns, man. One, two, three, shoot. What I really need is to pick a spot and have it start building me guns. That's what I really need. Okay, so let's run over here. Let's check out our solar. 21 solar panels. Love it. And then I want to upgrade to better, um... See, and this is perfect, because it's like, here's my solar, or here's my steam and crap. Oh, I just remembered. Where is my oil? Well, shit. <laughs> um, it's over there. Uh, as long as I get timed out, but I'm on mobile and mobile Twitch app, stop doing this. Stop doing this, so I can't really count as well. Oh, I see. Ah! I've always wanted to do that, that's why I did that just now. Okay, I now require a... Oh! <laughs> it disappeared, I was like, where'd my blueprint go? I like this version of this song. The original, I'm not a huge fan of, but this one is fantastic. That and the way the song starts on the thing, it's like it's it's all it's all black and white. The picture is all black and white, and then right as it gets to that one part and it hits, you have weird fetish. It is not judging. Weird fetishes? What do you mean? Oh. Like, for example, what fetishes do I have, good sir? I mean, I'm not doubting that I'm weird, because, like, <laughs> I am. But, um... Shoot. Who put that tree there? See, at least I know where my stuff's going. Oh, I have weird music tastes. Oh, I have... My, my music tastes are really weird. To be fair, on my way to college yesterday, and last night at like 2 or 3 in the morning, I was totally listening to an uh, audiobook of uh, Pride and Prejudice. Oh, yeah. I love Pride and Prejudice. It's my favorite. I have 325 wall on me. How are we doing solar wise? 2.78, 2.8 8 megawatts of solar. Right. Oh. I forgot. It is exceptionally heavy on the. Oh, I need more steel. 
It's exceptionally heavy on the circuit side. Me a college boy? Um, kind of. I'm going to massage therapy college. Mainly because I hate traditional college. I've been there, I've done it, and I hate it. I work way too hard for absolutely nothing. Mmm, not absolutely nothing, but pretty dang close. I just, I don't know, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of college. I don't like working that hard and, and spending that much money to A, not having... Oh, I have no idea what movie that's from. No clue. I just don't like spending that many, that much time, that many resources, I think is the best way to say it. Because every, if you think about it, all of its resources, I hate spending that much resources to not necessarily guarantee something, like, you don't guarantee a job by, by doing it, you know what I mean? That's the first problem. It used to be you go to college, you get a, and you, you graduate, you get a job, you stick in that job for 25 years, and then you retire. Nowadays, they say you're liable to change your career up to five times in college. Change what your major is up to five times in college. That's like the average. And then, from the time you graduate until the time you retire, you're estimated to have between six and eight different companies you will work for. Six to eight different jobs. And then the percentage, I think it's like six. Don't quote me on this one because I don't know this one for sure. But it's like 65% of the uh, of the people, their their final career or their final job that they have is not the one they went to school for. So, yeah. With those kinds of statistics, oddly enough, I don't want to go to college. I don't want... Uh, so I'm, I went trade school. I wanted, I wanted something that I could use and that I could love. And it wouldn't be permanent. It wasn't expensive and it wasn't permanent. So I can do it as much or as little as I want, and if it sticks, sweet. If not, I'll find something else similar. Made by a Ryan movie company? Dude, I have no idea. I have, I, I, I'm embarrassed to say that I have no clue. I have no clue. Oh, I actually blew through my, my, uh, my limited steel. Is it nighttime? Yeah. I can tell when it's nighttime because my power goes to crap. Just running back and forth trying to fill my solar grid as best I can. Um, I was going to say, I still have like 11 researches, right? Yeah, I do. I got four. Four more to go. So we're building a massive solar grid. I need. Do I have turrets? Yes, I have nine turrets. How much ammo do I have? Not enough. Let's go steal a bunch of ammo, and then I'm going to go cheap shot a couple uh, bases real quick. Because there's a base directly above me, and my pollution's right on the edge of it, and I don't feel very comfortable with that, so I'm going to go kick it. I'm going to go kick the hornet's nest. This is the reason why Long Reach is not built into the game initially. Because it's so cheap. See, with, with the Long Reach, you can literally walk up to a base and just kill it. As long as you have the ammunition in your inventory, you just walk up to it and you just slap them down. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. You're coming with me. Um, Lost! What's up, boy? What's that man? I'm kicking alien bases because they're ticking me off. Tries to sneak in riding a biter. Did you, there is no such thing as sneaking while riding a biter. Just saying. So. I'm in the process of. I'm in the process of doing two or three things. One being, I'm trying to... Where'd my guns go? Where'd my guns go? Ah! 
I'm in the middle of a fight, and it's like, we're gonna mess you up. I don't know, piss off. I, I told you, I already don't know, I don't know what it is. See, this is the problem with not having good enough upgrades on my turrets. See, because by not having good enough upgrades on the turret ammunition, uh... See, by not having... Is my brain... Is my brain shuts up. It's from Robocop! Oh. Dude, I've seen Robocop like twice in my life, dude. It is a good show. I've, I mean, I have seen it. It's just been... Years. Yeah, and I just blew through all my ammo in the process, too. It's not even dead yet! You guys didn't even kill it! Good grief, man. See, by increasing... Here's the thing that a lot of people don't necessarily notice, and that's if you upgrade the turret damage, you actually save how much ammunition you use. Hang on. What is this? Lost, what is this? Dude, send me a picture of it. Take a picture of what of what it is and send it to me. Cause it looks freaking huge. I was just looking at how much code it was, and I was like, oh, I'm like, what did he send me? Dope. Not there. Build more arms. Need a hand? No thanks. Got one. The real question, piss off, is that's the one. It won't fit on a screen. Well, then what makes you think it's gonna fit on my screen? Okay, that's those. Um, I need more turrets. So that's the that's your requirement, bud. Piss off! You gotta tell me what that's from. Need a hand? No thanks. Got one. How many did I just pick up? Twenty six. That'll help a bit. Feel the power. Thank you. Thank you, Lost. Try and put it in a screenshot. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to see it. Not sure? Anyone know what that's from? Need a hand? No thanks. Got one. I'll give you a hint. It's Gene Wilder. Gene, Gene Wilder says it. Turn that down just a hair. Uh, military 2. That's what I want. I really need, um, no, 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 not T. Let's do research Q. Sweet. Because what I want is to upgrade my turret twice. Because that's as much as I can do. I have productivity one on there. How come productivity two isn't there? Weird. Alright. Wood, dump the wood. Trees, grab the 6,000 trees that I had in that chest. So just saying. Um, yeah, Lost, you are the man. It is Young Frankenstein. That line is from Young Frankenstein. Love that movie. I can quote that movie back to front. Elevate me. What? Here? Yes. Yes, raise the platform. Oh, oh, that. It's a fantastic movie. I love that movie. It's a horrible movie. 
Walk this way! No, no, no! This way! Hands him the cane, he's all like hobbling with the cane and then stops and thinks about it. He's like... Love that show. So many trees. What I need to do is get to the point where I have it set up in the logistics system where like I just like drop a building right there and then say plant the trees and then all of my fleet of my base grabs it and rebuilds it. It's like when people decide to surround their entire base with landmines and then you uh and then they have the robots autofill it for them. Oh goody. This is what, Fallout Boy? Isn't it? Yeah. Who do you think he is? Thanks for the memories. See, here's the thing. If it's the green grass, it automatically fills it correctly. If it's this sporadic brown, then it doesn't. That's what I'm noticing. But this whole thing is going to start maintaining my pollution. Although this top has a lot of issues. Because the problem is the pollution just goes blork and then goes around. That's the whole, you have to have a solid wall of trees to block the pollution. I'm going to be here a minute. Oh, good time to check my phone. My wife texted me. My wife's like, what's up? I miss you more. Smiley face. Winky smiley face. Because apparently I used that one a lot. It was, it was the first one to pop up. I was like, alright. It's going to be like ten million dollars. See, I'm about as uh, hip. I'm about as hip as Dr. Evil when he's in the when he's in the um, in the jail singing the it's a hard enough life. That's about how hip I am. Which yeah, from Austin Powers, yeah. That's about how cool I am. He's about as cool as Dr. Evil in the jail with his, with his, his, uh, his, uh, um, what do you call that? His do-rag, his handkerchief, tied around his head like a, like a, like a lady from Africa and out, out, uh, walking down the street. You know what I mean? And I say that because that's the only place I ever see it. I wish they would leave me alone. So I bought a new car. I got a new car. Because uh, I, I, I do the lease program. The lease program is where you basically rent a car for a couple of years. So you establish, you end up paying for approximately 40% of the vehicle. 40% over the course of three years. Normally when you buy a car, you say, hey, I want a car, and they say, okay, five to eight years, any longer than that, and they'll usually tell you no, because by then the value of the car is like non non-existent. And so what ends up happening is you have a, so you buy a car, a brand new car, you pay for 100% of the vehicle, plus tax and interest over the course of like six years, if you buy a car. If you lease a car, you pay for 40% of the car over three years, and then, is it a blue Prius? No, it's uh, it's white, it's a Buick. I've been leasing Buicks for a while now. I've got, I have a 2017 Buick Encore. I had a Buick Verano, that was fun. My choice was I could either get a Regal or I could get a Encore for approximately the same price. 
and I've already had a car, a Buick car, and I wanted to try a SUV, because I've never had an SUV before, so I got an SUV for the first time. Got to tighten this up. And so far, honestly, I like it better than a car. Come to find out, I'm an SUV man, I didn't even know it. Mainly because I have a, I was in the military, as you all know, or most of you, and uh, I got injured, and so I have a bad hip. And so basically, by having the um, by having the cars, I would, you know, when you're in a car, you're like you're like this, you're driving way back like this with your feet out, and that's really bad for my, uh, it's really bad for my hip, like it hurts. And so I swapped over to an SUV, and in an SUV, it's like sitting in a car, like in a chair. You're way up like this. Your posture is really good, and it's solid. And so I got an SUV, and all of a sudden, it's like it doesn't hurt to drive anymore. My body doesn't know how to respond because it's like actually, you know, good to sit in. It's like what the heck? But yeah, it's 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 exciting. It's fun to have a new car. Once every three years, I get a new car. But yeah, anyway, back to the lease program. Every So basically, you lease a vehicle, you pay for 40% plus tax and interest over the course of three years, and then you return the vehicle at the end of it. So you can either, at the end of the, at the, end of the three years, you can either choose to finance and buy it, return it, and get another lease from a different vehicle, or turn it in and pay the difference on the mileage if you went over the miles you said you were going to do, and then uh, walk away. Personally, I really enjoy the lease program because, if you think about it, I'm always on the warranty. I'm always covered by the warranty because I only have it for three years, and then, so I never have to pay for repairs, ever. The only thing I do have to pay for is if I it up a bit I have to pay for um, repairs on the return like I had to file two claims on my car on my car when I turned it in because I had two dings in it I had two dings of which one of them was not my fault thank you very much you can thank operative Q for that one He doesn't necessarily believe it's his fault, but he's the only person who could have caused it. I had to pay for a repair on the back of my car. I had the paint was scratched in one spot, and that one wasn't me. There were other repairs that I had to pay for, which were me, absolutely me. Or my wife. Like, my wife backed into me. I had to replace the front bumper, and I had to replace the back bumper. The back one was not my fault. The front one was my fault and her fault. Like, she backed into me. That put one dent in the front. And then I, uh... I had, um... What do you call it? I had, um... I had a carport that I would pull under, and I kept scraping the one corner. Crashy? I hope not. Don't call me Crashy. That's a horrible name. I wouldn't wish that name on my worst enemy. All this copper wire. I was originally creating just copper wire because I uh, didn't have time to... Oh, I'm out of research. Uh, upgrade me. That's what I want. Actually, hang on. Let's do it through the queue because the queue makes it smarter. So we're going to go damage, damage, okay, damage, 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 or speed, 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 so damage, damage, speed, 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 armor, um, efficiency modules, no, let's screw that path, if we're going to go that path, we should do fluid handling, sulfur, batteries, what else is linked into the oil stuff? Oh, and then uh, I really enjoy um, that stuff. Hang on. He just sent me a picture.
And what does this do? See, that just seems excessive to me. Like, I don't see why you would ever need that much of anything in this game. Family joke. When Peter was driving, jump into another car and the family guy crashes and that's what Peter says to Lois. Oh. oh okay. High speed smelting. I, I purposefully never get that big, mainly because I get bored before I finish it. Like, I get two-thirds of the way done, and then I'm bored, and then I'm like, yeah, I'm done, and I walk away. But I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be the guy that walks away before I beat the game, you know? As, as I fill my inventory. Uh, that, that, that. And then that, that, and that. Yeah, I have this really messed up chunk of copper I'm working with here. Player's inventory is full. Really? Bigger stack mod? I have some some bigger stack mods. My problem is I have this stupid copper. Here. Um, chest. Arm. There, now it'll get used. Okay, I need... Oh. I need to go place out all my new solar. It's a lot of solar. In the long run, there's going to be plenty more. We're up to ten. Ten. Uh, thank you. Oh, um, research queue, while you're at it, would you also kindly get... No, I want... No, no, no. Whatever. That's the one thing I don't like. I sh when research queue is open, whoever made research queue, someone tell them this. When you're here, I should be able to hit escape and have it make it go away. Because that's annoying as crap. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and it also should have a an over ride so that when it finishes a technology if you're research queuing and you finish a technology it should just say research done and then immediately jump to the next one not pause the game as it shows you that you know the one you have can have 10,000 iron plates or copper plates that's just excessive I've never seen a base with a single person I've never seen a base that needs to be that big ever Now, mind you, it's fun, but to me, it's just a little excessive because there's I've never needed that much ever. I've when I first started this game, I started with small bases, went to mega bases, and then went back to small bases because the mega bases take way too long, and by then I'm bored. It's like, eh, forget it. You know what I mean? You've only fired it up once. So it's more of a proof of concept then. Is that what you're saying? It's more of a proof of concept kind of build versus a practicality build? Like you want to see if it'll work, but... Now to be fair, I've done my fair share of that. Where I just like build something, I go, does that work? And then I build it and go, it works! Like a phoenix. Ah! He needs to stop doing that. Freaks me out. There we go. It killed a 242 train of ore as fast as you could. Ugh. Ugh. Blah. 
That's insane. Yeah, I need to, um... I need to go conquer new lands is what I need. Yeah, what I just discovered is I require trains. That's what I'm discovering. It's Satan? Well, yes, I might be. Um, because here's the thing. Here's the thing I'm looking at. My oil is here. My base is up here. My oil is down here. I don't necessarily acknowledge this half the battle. It's true. So here's my two options. I either package and ship the... I harvest the oil down there and then package and ship it back up to be processed. Or... I have to provide enough resources down there to run it and then have it come back. Otherwise I end up having really, really long trail, you know what I mean? Which I'm not overly fond of. So what I really want to do is continue to make this as big as it's supposed to be. Oh shoot, I just forgot. Um Technically No. No. No, I did design this correctly. I had to look at it. I'm like, I messed this up. No, it's correct. It's absolutely correct. Because here's the idea. It's only two track in between each one. Because if you think about it, there's technically seven sciences total. And so that would require five and a half or there's seven two four six and then yeah seven there we go yeah so it requires three and a half rail provided you're gonna do one on each one and then I need alms and power while we're at it ooh MK buildings MK2's I need to see how big the MK2 is Yo, bro, give me all your goods. Lovely. And then what do I need? A crap load of steel. Right. Yeah, I'm going to be here a while. Waiting on steel. Lovely. Fluid handling. Okay, so we're going to go power... This is called upgrading my system. Whoop, except for I don't want that one there, I want that one there. See, that's one thing I never understood. How come you can put a rail over a rail, but you can't put a advanced power, a medium electric pole over top of a small electric? How come you can't do that? That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I should be able to just click on it, you know, and override it and replace it. Okay, I require arms, like I said. Shake it like an earthquake. That's the song. Shake it like an earthquake. Whatever. For the most part, I'm using two technologies. For the most part, only right now. 
See, and these guys are just cranking it out as fast as they can, and it's keeping up with this much, so pretty sweet. See, and the idea would be this one would go down, out the end, and then back over here, and then you just have them just loop over top of each other like that. So that way you only have two in between each row of science, like that. And you still end up having each one touching all of the paths that it needs. So, so that looks good there. And the main thing is I just want to blow through my science as fast as possible. All of the low tier science, I want all everything up to here. I just want gone. Just done. How are we doing here? 7 damage, and we're shooting at 15 a second. Okay. Oh, and I need steel so I can drop a big building. Is it 400 or 500? 500. Gosh dang it. And it's now nighttime. Oh, hey. I'm using my uh, upgrade tool to upgrade all of my stuff. Such a weird song. Boom, boom, boom. So I discovered um, Wildlands yesterday. I'm pleased. I'm rather pleased. It stole a relatively large amount of my day yesterday. Yeah, could have been streaming this, and instead I streamed that for a little while, and then just quit, and then just kept playing it anyway. I'm like, oh no, it's one of those games. Let's do that. That'll give it at least a little more out output there. Yeah. Yeah, the nighttime power really blows. Which means I'm probably going to have to set up some stuff here. So here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go let's get rid of that. We're going to grab this to there. Like that. And then, oh, stone, right. Okay, that's how much I need there. And then I require iron, which I have none. Thank you. 20 of those. Plus a pump. And then I need... Yeah, this was one of the things I needed but never built. Oh well. Because technically, you need to have a spot. If you're going to do lots of building, you know, oil work and everything else in the late game, you really need a spot to... Oh. It's official. I have to upgrade all of my stuff now. I just realized my uh, my iron sucks. Yeah. 
In the meantime, though, let's run over here and load all this up. How many of those do I have in my inventory? Five? Okay, let's set those up. Like that. Beautiful. I hate using old power poles. Once I upgrade to a new thing, I hate using the old stuff. It drives me nuts. Okay, so I need water to here. So we're going to go one. Shoot. Such a great song. Life is beautiful. Okay, so I cry. I will cry. Pipe. Pipe. Uh. And then underground to there. And this side should now be spooling up. Fantastic. So that's a healthy amount of power there. Again, the goal is still to rely on solar as much as possible, but at nighttime, I need my base to not shut down. Thus, why I'm having to continue to feed into this system. Oh, hey, I have more wood for you. Take it all. Okay, um, horrible movies that you should see. Horrible movies that you should see. Uh, Euro Trip. I must recommend. Horrible movie, very funny, horrible movie. But I recommend. I've I've gotten a kick out of that over the course of my life. Okay, time to upgrade and create secondary system. So we're gonna go. Okay. I was like I was like what happened? Okay. See cuz the idea is I want to have The goal is to have multiple tiers of these that I can build. And that's kind of the beauty of having our um Oh, that actually works rather nicely, now that I'm looking at it. So, yank out. You... Oh, shoot. Because the goal is to have... Whoa. Now I've done it. Apparently the entire base is connected off of that one power pole. If the biters were smart, that's where they'd hit. That one, right there. Here, let me, uh... Let me, uh... <laughs> Uh, throw a couple extras in there. I really don't want the whole base hanging by one thread. Okay, so I want to grab that one. Um, that one. Oh, except for I want to upgrade it one step further. Oh, and then, um, black. Okay. So let's go upgrade, and we're going to go from yellow to red. Save. Oh, but then also I want to do yellow to red. Yellow. Whoop. Nope. Nope. Yellow to red. Save. That way I can come right here and go, ha ha! Black.
Now I want to grab that blueprint I had, and I'm going to grab from right there to there. Yes. Nope, I got one yellow in there. Cancel. Let's try that again. So from right there to there, create blueprint, and then I want to add that one up there. Because, ultimately I'm going to, whoop, I need it, but I don't need it right there. Sorta. Oh, nope, nope, nope. If you're making gears, you're doing it wrong. Give me all your gears. And then upgrade tool, black. And black. And black. Oh, also. Yeah, 15. That should be enough. That's good there. Ah, solar. Gotta love that. All right, you're done, so let's yank you off. Put you down on the end right. We'll put you right there where you get six. There we go. And then we want to go upgrade Blat. I'm going to be picking up enough red that I shouldn't ever have to build any more yellow. At least for now. Like in my inventory, I should never... Like that one right there. I shouldn't have to build that one because I'm about to pick up more. In the in you know later time in game I will for sure, but like right now. Oh, and then I shouldn't be making gears either. Okay, I need more gears now. Let's check on these guys. Get more solar out. Sweet. That's a healthy amount of solar. Um, yeah, 12 megawatts worth of solar. I'm down to 8.9 megawatts. Oh, nine. Nine, one. Oh, now my solar's going down. No? Oh, no, it's fluctuating. Who cares? It's fluctuating. Who cares? Anyway, that is a healthy amount of... A healthy and respectable amount of solar. Yeah, because the goal is to get off of Steam as much as possible. Being on Steam sucks. Um... Never mind. I just realized why that was as far as it went. Because this only goes that far, that's why.
Or do I have one more of those? And that's it there. Four of those. Oh, thank you. Um, I need more steel. Build more steel. Okay. Ah, why is my nose falling off? Where's my water? So right now my issue is I'm not harvesting enough ore. It's a lot of solar. Hopefully that'll help, because I need a lot of it. Um, how are we doing pollution-wise? The top is suffering pollution-wise. Thank you. Suggested tutorial. Play tutorial. Anyway, Ghost Rail. Pressed Shift. Um. I didn't know you could do that. Whoop. Okay, that's cool. Right, I know how that works.
Never done that. Kind of cool. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm just gonna cram this spot full of crap, <sighs> full of trees. Just be like, I don't want to deal with your crap. I just remembered there's a giant bag of chips upstairs, and for some reason I'm not eating it. I will return. There are chips to be had. There's also ice cream, but I've eaten enough of that. So, someone turned the weather on, and it's 80 degrees outside. It's been 40, like, the high's been 50 for the last, like, forever. No, I already clicked on that, leave me alone. Remember that tutorial you just did? Do it again! I'm like, leave me alone! I have discovered a bag of... Nacho cheese Doritos. Good dolly. It's a lot of tree planting. One of my buddies just jumped on. He was playing um, Wildlands with us yesterday. interesting see I've never needed enough trains to have to like set up a complex system I've always only had like one or two coming in only into specific spots so, like I'll have three or four trains running but they're specific they go from point A to point B but they don't cross each other so If you look, the pollution is just like, urch, just stopped. With this, with this massive chunk I laid down, I'm like, pollution, done. Go away. 
It wants me to play with the signal tutorial again. I'm like, leave me alone. I thought my cat was down here. Where'd my cat go? Never mind. Lost, what is your favorite movie and why? good there a tiny bit more here there we go I want to check and see what my upload is right now I might be able to crank it up a tiny bit Thank you. Selecting best server, best off of ping. Oh, good. Woo, 600. I require stone. Build more stone. Wow, I think this is the lowest my ping has ever been. My ping's usually in like the mid 70s. Sorry. I accidentally ran my uh, Monty Python, Quest for the Holy Grail, or anything Mel Brooks. Okay. Cool, cool. Resetting Ghost in the Shell, fan of anime. I have not seen Ghost in the Shell. Was it good? Would you recommend? Because I'm interested, but I haven't been to yet. And I'm... Like, like when it comes out, for sure, I'll either buy it or see it. I mean, nowadays it's cheaper just to buy it than it is to go see it first. I mean, if you think about it, like, everyone's like, you, you don't buy it unless it's good okay but even if it's bad like going going and seeing it like in the theaters or whatever get that out of here if you go and see it in a movie in the movie theater and it's horrible you just wasted you know X amount of money nowadays if you buy it it's usually pretty close to the same cost you know Cool. At least they did a good job with it, huh? Yeah, we're gonna follow this edge here and just make this thicker. I'm gonna have to fill this part myself because my bots can't get in there. It's too tight. That's what she said. See, even that massive chunk is still struggling with the pollution on this top side. But the problem is that's where all my pollution is. It's this crap right here. Ah, shoot. I accidentally fed some of this myself. I hate this.
hate when they do that. Gosh dang it! Freaking bots, man! Give that a sec. My favorite, like, Western classic is McClintock. Um, kids' movie, probably the Peanuts movie. Um, action movie genre or action movies, probably either like the original The Mummy movies or. Need for Speed's not bad. Italian job was really good. I robots fantastic. Almost anything Will Smith, you know. One or two of his more recent movies I'm not a huge fan of. Just didn't do it for me, you know. But yeah, you know. Movies are fun. I'm a huge movie buff, so that's why I asked. Is uh is Pasoff hanging out with us still right now? Hey Pasoff, what's your favorite movie? If you can get this to grow completely solid, pollution doesn't get through it for nothing. But this is that land type that you can't do crap with. because if you look this is what it looks like when it's thick it's nice and full pollution doesn't get through it hardly at all up here is nice and loose and the pollution goes right through it see look at that our pollution was way up here and now it's down now down here it's completely wide open but it's dissipating as it goes out the percentage goes down so it's not too dangerous on that side yet I'm a big fan of John Wick. The first one. I haven't seen the second one yet. But the first one was fantastic. Loved it. 25 more solar. I need a new technology. Let's go with more productivity. It's more free resources, man. 2% more ore per patch. So far, I'm up to 4%. Jump it to 6%. Free ore. It doesn't necessarily slow down how fast your ore runs out. 
but it for sure it for sure uh, allows you to go further off of each patch of ore it can potentially make your ore last longer because if it backs up like this and you're running an extra 6% here then the whole patch will last longer because you're not running the whole patch at the same speed because it's you're getting more ore per cycle on the on the uh, for, on the first ones here so ultimately though I plan to get I need stone good golly is that enough stone yes but now I have too many trees Dump some trees. Okay. Get a couple little ones. Because I need a couple little ones for the resources. See, I love these chips, but I hate that they like burn the corners of your mouth from the cheddar. So acidic. Just gotta hang out here a sec. So technically right here, okay, we're good there. I need iron and wood. Need more steel. Okay. And then, um, how's our research coming? Okay, so we're going to go out with three. Like that. What's our current stack on these? Two. Am 
my beautiful buffer system. That'll do. And then I need to keep cranking out yellow. See, and this is beautiful because even if you have more coming in than you have coming out, it'll continue to buffer. Thus, this. So this one will eventually be completely full of ore, and then this one will eventually be completely full of ore. And that way I can burn out this patch and store it in that building. But here's where it gets fun because now... So freaking huge, I love it. Oh that's me. I was like I was like gotta move that whatever whatever that is. Oh it's me. These buildings are so freaking huge, I love it. Well, I got one. And then from here, we're going to grab this guy. We're going to say we want it to go like Somehow I snuck one power piece through on that. Okay. And then I need to do a splitter. Technically, I'm still making regular belt right there. I am wasting time building them in my inventory, but who cares? At least they're being built. How much do I need? 33 more? Right. 
dance with the devil tonight. Great song. Great song. Love it. Now mind you, I'm missing a ton of pieces to it, but from here we can now go... I forget. I always forget. You have to place them on the inside now. It used to just be you put it on the one piece, you put it on the other piece, and it connected. Okay, so those two are not right. Ooh, out of technology. Um, let's do... Sixty-five. Good golly. I wish they would change the robot so that if you're holding an item in your hand, it can't take it out of your hand. Because that's annoying. I want to be able to build things and, like, still have some control over it. Otherwise, they immediately disappear and it's like, I was gonna... Never mind. Alright, so this gives us a good basis of ore production inside of the building. Come here, bots. Thank you. Yeah, that one. And then where did my 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 where to go? That one. Here, let's do Q. Four, five, six, seven. Ooh, actually, hang on. Yeah, let's do those two first, and then do those ones, and then do lasers. Uh, construction robotics. Yeah. And then, can I use my upgrade tool and just upgrade some of this here real fast? Okay. Grab gears. Oh, whoops, I accidentally cut this off from the rest of the base. It's like, we're out of power! I'm like, oh, yeah, about that. Here. Keep building me gears, because I don't like building those. I still, oddly enough, still don't like building those in my inventory. chips.
This sucks because the two that are almost completely full are the ones I don't have wired in yet. It's like, oops. I'd accidentally shut my base down. <clears throat> Not accidentally, I mean, I totally did it on purpose, but. Still kind of annoyed that it's shutting it down that much. <laughs> The amount of gears these can take are disgusting. Sweet. I will say that there's a certain level of sick and twisted <clears throat> in uh, Wildlands, which I'm still trying to decide how I feel about. So here's the problem. <clears throat> I need to set up
gears are the bane of the earth, I swear. There we go. Okay, got one more to go there. I want to upgrade all of this right here. Remember me, series. Centuries. Centuries. Remember me for centuries. Yeah, I'm literally just missing a crap load of steel furnaces. So steel furnaces, what am I missing? Oh, stone. Oddly enough. I got some of that. How many do I need? 28, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Chips!
There, that's going to take a minute. While that's finishing, I've got some more solar to drop. I hate that. I hate that this drop down thing blocks it so I can't reach it. I have to like run all the way over to get it. Well, that's a lot better. Let's fix, finish it off though. Okay. Now my goal is still to set up a, another one of these, a buffer on the front to hold the excess ore. It's actually using it as fast as I can. Harvest it now. Well, for now, once this is full, it'll slow down again. So I'm going to let that drain out, which is fast, oddly enough. Reanalyze that here in a minute once I rebuild this. Okay. So we're going to do.
Because here's the question. The question is, can I stick it... Like that. Because that way... Like that. more steel which is funny because I don't have any more iron coming out there I need to start going out and plugging in these extra resources. Okay, so we've got ore coming into this one. We need another set. Problem is I'm one off with this. Yeah, need one more. Lovely. Exactly enough. Now we can drop two more. I don't think that's quite right looking at it. Slow down, guys. I gotta reevaluate here. Okay, so let's set it up based off of the ad, the exits real quick. So we're gonna do two out on each one of these. I wanna throw down one like right. Can I do that? So how many is this? Oh, it's it's an odd number in between. Um, in that case, what if I have it touching the bottom? Does that give me enough room? Because this would give us three out, three out like that. Ouch. Actually, the real thing I need to be looking at is the middle. Because otherwise... No, because technically you can run... Okay. Where's my red? Got to redo some structural stuff here. Okay, so what I need it to do is... If I have my box, I can do one on the corner and then one on the corner. So if I do like that, oh, or otherwise, it just needs to be right there. Yeah, just like that, because what it's going to end up looking like is we're going to have Like that. 
it's the exact opposite of that. Which still does make a difference because we can't... Yeah. Mirror. Where's my arm? Uh, red tool. Let's yank you out to there. Means I can only run three boxes. I can't run four. But that's okay. It still works. The nice thing, though, is I can literally walk up to this and go... Like that. Lap. Just like that. Except for I am still short one. Plus a bunch of blues. So let's grab a bunch of blues. Let's grab some steel. Would you guys ever be interested in watching me play like just some StarCraft 2? Or StarCraft 1? Because I do have a great desire to, at some point, play some StarCraft. You know what I mean? There we go. And then from here, we can then pop out. Just like that. there that way oh the top side hasn't finished draining yet but as fast as it can it's going so The only part about it that I don't like is that this one is independent from that one. It means this string and this string are independent from each other, which I'm not a huge fan of, but they both end up linking in back here. Unless I could sneak in a... Let me try this. Buildings are just well, like one square too close together.
Luckily, though, it's that easy to move. Because here's what I want. I want to go... Like that. It's like an octopus. Okay, so that gives balance there. This helps to balance out so if one side is super heavy and the other side super light, it's gonna split more of it down to this other side. So this one's still super full, but this one's getting more now than it was. I believe. Or is it like that? No. I don't think it's making any difference whatsoever. No, it was. It was making a difference. Not like a lot, but it was definitely making a difference. definitely better I think the top one is still getting more but the bottom one is getting some versus not ultimately it doesn't matter too much it's all it's all balancing but it's not like a super necessary balance it helps but it's not like it's my base isn't gonna like crumble if it's not there all right where is slowly building up my wood pulp. like a million trees I just put a spot for. I love how it feels like it's prioritizing it by section. It's like, we're going to start with this section, then we're going to start with this section. So it's like, they all go up to the left, and then they all go to the lower left, and then they all go into the middle, and then they all go into the bottom right, and then they all go into the top right, you know? It's like they're prioritizing it based off of what area has the most trees of all of it. So, it like, it's trying to equally distribute among all of the places to be put out, which is kind of dumb. I'd rather it was always closest to you out, personally. Whatever's closest to you towards the out, so it would, it would start in the middle and just go, you know. I think that would be a more efficient way to do it versus the sporadic amount.
Oi, this part takes forever. Luckily though, with this config mod, I should in theory be able to get bigger armor and still cram this much crap in it. So, oh, which reminds me. No, that's his basic modular armor. Where's the regular modular armor? This one. Grid size is five by five. Oops. It's the same as his, except for his doesn't take red. His takes a crap load of green instead. Because this one takes what thirty? His takes a hundred, so it takes three, a little over three times as much. Alright, so we built this chunk. I really want to start harvesting off of the off of these two patches and bring them up in. But I think I'm going to want to do it by train. I'm thinking. I have a copper here though. Um let's just set up the iron then. Gotta love that. I'm in the middle of building something and it decides to interrupt me. Good heck. So at this point, as fast as we're harvesting, we're mining or we're smelting and then dumping it in here. So at the moment we're not necessarily getting any, uh, we're not getting ahead at the moment. Ooh, I need to shoot. Come robots, we must go for a walk. My inventory is full. There. Please continue, continue. Charming, <laughs> so charming. Scarlet Pimpernel. That's a good movie. It's a very good movie. has more health, but I don't really see any other reason to have it. Um... I mean, I can potentially feed one more in, but I'd almost rather go like, and then I'll just like throw the train in on that side.
No. That that looks good to me there. Oh, um, gates. Kind of important. And my inventory's gonna fill. Yeah. Stop fucking. Okay, I require steel. I require engines, which I do not have. Okay, I require steel, for which I have none. Okay. Well, at least during the day, we're mostly using that. That's good. Okay, so here's what I want. You're creating those, you're creating those. That looks good there. Go like that. Okay. 
It is twice as many pipes as any of the other ones. Four engines. Okay. Randomly started running. I'm like, okay. A sudden and instantaneous bulge in pollution right there. Oh, I just realized I don't have... Um I don't have a fuel source handy. I need to establish a fuel source setup for this. Because I've got coal up here, but that's it. Do that. Not my favorite. 
Where's... I need another one of these. I was gonna say, I need a little bit of wood. Alright. Starting to use a lot of steel. I'm gonna have to redo that here in a minute. Um, what time is it? Four o'clock. I'm thinking I'm gonna hop off for a little bit. I'm gonna keep playing, but I'm not gonna stream for a little bit. I just want to relax for a few minutes. But anyway, thank you so much for hanging with me. Uh, leave a like or subscription if you haven't already, and I will catch you probably a little bit later this afternoon. I'm assuming I'll be on a little bit later tonight. Otherwise, I will most likely be on tomorrow and maybe Sunday. So anyway. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll catch you later.